In this geometric patterning video, the viewer is going to have an opportunity to create a table to represent the pattern below, write the coordinates for the pattern, and then finally graph the coordinates on a grid. It should be noted that we are going to be relating the figure number in the pattern to the number of cubes. So take a few minutes, pause the video, and try to create a table write out your coordinates and create a graph and then resume the video when you're ready. When we take a look at the pattern you'll notice we have three figures given to us. In the first figure we begin with four cubes. So for figure one, we have four cubes, and our coordinate would be one comma four, noting that the figure number is one, the number of cubes is four. In figure number two, we have the same four cubes, but now we have an additional cube added on. So for figure two, we have five cubes, and our coordinate would be 2, 5. And finally, for our third figure, the initial four cubes are given. The additional cube from figure 2 is given. And then finally, a sixth cube is added on for figure number 3 and our coordinate would be 3 comma 6. Now it should be noted that our figure numbers are noted and come first in our coordinates. Our number of cubes are second. We typically call the first value the x variable and the y is the number of cubes, our second variable. Trying to graph our geometric pattern here, uh, I've brought our table to a new page and we should always note that the x variable is always the horizontal axis. So our figure number is going to go on the x and our y value is going to be, in this case, our number of cubes. So when we graph this, noticing our coordinates, our first one is 1 comma 4. So that means we're going to go 1. Starting at the origin, we're going to go 1 to the right and up 4 on the y-axis. So what we're going to have here is 1 comma 4. Okay, notice, noting once again, we go over to the 1 and up 4. So there's our first coordinate. If we take a look at our second coordinate, we have 2 comma 5. That means I'm going to go from the origin and I'm going to go 2 units to the right on the x-axis and I'm going to go 5 units up on the Y. And just to clean this up just a little bit here. And then finally, our third coordinate is 3 comma 6. So I'm going to go over 3 to the right and up to 6. And if you take a look, you can see that we have a pattern in the table. We notice in the table that we're actually increasing by one each time. And our figure number is increasing by one each time. If we look at our values in the table, we go one to the right, one up, one to the right, 
1 up. So there's those values increasing by 1 each time. Okay? And this pattern is actually starting to form a line for us. So since it's a straight line, we can see that there is a pattern, and we would call this pattern linear. 